tractor is a farming equipment that you can use in the farm. Its primary function is to pull farming equipment and you can use it also for many things. The word tractors come from the Latin word trahere, meaning to pull. The earliest recorded uses of the word come from the mid to late 19th century when engines and vehicles designed to pull farming tools and wagons are being developed. They were initially referred to as traction engines as then as tractors. Today, the common functions of tractors are to pull various land preparation implements like plow, harrow, rotavator, cultivator using drawbar. It can also be used for planting and seeding precisely, for harvesting of various crops and forage, for threshing using PTO shop. This is a Eurotrap YTO X454 Ford tractor, manufactured by YTO Group Corporation from China with an engine power of 45 horsepower. Its engine is a four-cylinder, vertical, water-cold, four-stroke, direct inject combustion. These are the external parts of the tractor. This is the ballast, the hood, the front wheel, the muffler, the steps, the, and the handhold, and the rear wheel. The side mirror, the rollover protective structure. This is the three-point link the tractor, the upper link to lower link, the implement, and the attachment of the tractor for the implement, and the tail and working lights of the tractor. Wheels. The tractor wheels and the shaded tires have the function of supporting the tractor and of converting rotary motion of the engine to linear motion of the tractor as a whole. For two-wheel drive tractors, the rear wheels act as the drive wheels. They are usually bigger than the front wheels to avoid slipping on the mud surface. The front wheels are used for steering. They are usually designed to be smaller than the rear wheels to provide better view in the forward direction. Ballast Any material added to the front of tractor for the purpose of enhancing traction and stability. Engine hood, the hinge cover over the engine of the tractor. Muffler, a device for decreasing the amount of noise emitted by the exhaust of an internal combustion engine. Handhold and steps, they are for safe and convenient means of getting up to the tractor. Side mirror, a mirror found on the exterior of tractor outside the driver's peripheral vision. Rollover protective structure or roofs. Two or four post structural frames primarily used to protect the seat belt operator from being crushed in case the machine rolls over. Headlights light up the tractor path at the front. Tail in work lights light up the rear of tractor. Three point hitch A three point assembly wherein fully mounted and semi mounted implement is attached. The three points look like a triangle or the letter A which provide a rigid connection. The two lower links which are the hitch lifting, arms are controlled by the hydraulic system and provide lifting, lowering and even tilting to the arms. The upper center arm or upper link is movable but is usually not powered by the tractor's hydraulic system. The tractor is provided with Various controls for its operation. So, first is ah, uh, first thing is the steering wheel, key and switch, manual fuel shut off, foot throttle pedal, hand throttle lever, range lever, gear shift lever. Shuttle shift lever. Differential lock pedal. Right brake pedal. 
left brake pedal park brake lever seat drop control lever position control lever seat belt PTO control lever steering wheel use the turn steering tires key and switch engages power to parts from the battery may include solenoid for fuel shut off manual fuel shut off pull to shut off diesel engine gear shift lever used to select transmission gear speed range lever select range high or low for gear shuttle shift lever shuttle from forward to reverse with or without clutch depending on model PTO control lever engage disengage PTO shaft position control lever controls lift arms when the implement is in transportation position draft control lever controls lift arms when implement is in working position hand tractor lever increases tractor rpm in constant speed foot throttle pedal increases tractor rpm left brake pedal locks left drive tire right brake pedal locks right drive tire clutch pedal engage or disengage for starting or for stopping tractor motion differential lock pedal engage to lock drive axles together parking brake lever pull to set parking brakes when off tractor seat it is for the operator's comfort seat belt keep the operator in safety zone this is the instrument panel or the dashboard of the tractor it is where most of the metering devices are placed to guide the tractor operator within the dashboard there are three gauges at the top and switches at the bottom first is the water temperature gauge on the left which allows monitoring of vehicle's engine coolant temperature to ensure it does not overheat. Next is the tachometer at the center, used for measuring the rotation or revolution speed of the engine. Within the tachometer, there is the hour meter, which tracks and records elapsed time, normally displayed in hours and tens of hours. Right of the tachometer is the fuel gauge that indicates the amount of fuel in the fuel tank. There are also the turn signal light switches, both left and right, between the gauges, which signal the turn signal flasher to flash either the right or left turn lights, both front and rear. It maintains the turn signal flasher function until the steering wheel is reversed from the turn direction selected. The buttons below from left to right are the headlight switch, horn switch, Hazard warning light switch, rear working light switch, master lighting switch, and the steering switch. Now let's discuss the transmission system in a four-wheel tractor. The transmission system is basically the drive line of any automobile or a tractor. The system consists of components that are used to transmit the torque developed by the prime mover for the engine to the driving wheels and to vary the torque and direction of rotation of the ground wheels. A power transmission system usually consists of the following parts. First is the clutch. The clutch is the device that connects or disconnects two torque transmitting devices. 
And second is the transmission. The transmission is a device for transmitting power at a multiplicity of speed and torque. And next is the PTO drive. The PTO drive is the parts that transmit torque from the engine to the PTO spline or the rear of the tractor. And fourth is the differential. The differential is the device usually in the axle housing that allows to the two wheels or an axle to rotate at different speed. Next is the brake. Brake is the device usually in the axle housing that stops the motion of the tractor. And lastly is the axle. Axle is the shop and connecting parts that transmit torque from the differential or final gear reduction to the wheels. To summarize the transmission system, it starts from the engine to crankshaft, to flywheel, clutch, transmission box, differential, final drives, axle, and finally to drive wheels. Next is the electrical and starting. First is the battery ignition, the starter motor, the alternator, and the battery. Battery. This provides current for the ignition and starting systems. Battery switch. This quickly disconnects your battery when your vehicle is in storage. Starter motor. This starts up the combustion engine. Alternator. Its function is to charge the battery and to power the electrical system when its engine is running. Okay, let's talk about the parts of fuel system of the tractor. First is the fuel tank. Next is the fuel injectors and the fuel injection pump and the fuel filter. And next is the air cleaner. And the last is the fuel water separator. Fuel tank is the container from which an engine draws its fuel. Fuel injectors sprays liquid fuel intermittently into the cylinder of a diesel engine. Fuel injection pump is the device that pumps diesel into the cylinders of a diesel engine. Fuel filter, a filter in the fuel line that screens out dirt and rust particles from the fuel, normally made into cartridges containing a filter paper. Air cleaner, a filter that prevents dust and other particles from entering the air intake of an internal combustion engine. Fuel water separator removes water and solid contaminants from the fuel before it switches the fuel pump. And now, let's talk about the cooling system. First, we have the radiator and the coolant reservoir, the fan here, and the pump and the distribution hose. Fan. Pushes air through the radiator core or pull it through. It must cool the antifreeze that circulates through the block and head passages and reduces the engine temperature. Pump. Forces the engine coolant to circulate. Distribution hoses. Carries the coolant to the radiator where the fluid is cooled. Then back to the engine to keep the vehicle from overheating. Coolant reservoir is the plastic reservoir mounted in the engine bay that stores the coolant for the engine. Radiator, heat exchangers used for cooling internal combustion engine. Lubrication system. Lubrication system is designed to prevent damage to moving parts of the tractor. The main aim of lubrication is to put a film of all between the working surfaces of the metal parts to cool the effect of friction and therefore protect the surfaces. So, these are the parts of the lubrication system. First, the oil filter. Second, the dipstick, this one. And lastly, the oil span. Oil filter. Oil filter prevent most of the contaminants reaching the working parts of the engine. Dipstick. Dipstick measures the level of oil in the oil pan. Oil galleries. Oil galleries passages for oil 
to flow to various engine parts. Oil sump or oil pan. It holds the oil required for the system. It provides a means of draining the oil through the oil plug and houses the oil pump and pickup tube. Familiarization of the different parts of the tractor and understanding how this works is a big must for tractor operators. Not only to guarantee their safety, but also to attain maximum efficiency in farm operations. Proper knowledge of the component system, external parts, gauges, levers, and control will help them determine any trouble that a tractor might encounter and accordingly take action to fix the problem. Therefore, it is important to know your tractor. After all, tractor is the greatest feat mankind has achieved in modernizing agriculture.